A group in Decatur is asking for more volunteers and supplies to help the people in the path of Hurricane Dorian. Way 31's Cody Fisher is live at the United Methodist Disaster Response Warehouse, finding out what they need and how you can help. Cody? Dan, one thing people can do is bring extra supplies here to this drop-off box if the warehouse is closed. And right now, they're asking for 20 by 20 tarps that will help cover holes in people's roofs caused by Dorian. Now, as soon as damage reports start rolling in, trailers are going to come up to this door. It's going to open up. Those trailers are going to get loaded with supplies. Now, the warehouse tells me they're looking for people to hook those trailers up to their trucks and take it to people in need. The United Methodist Disaster Response Warehouse is ready to ship supplies. And we can leave tomorrow. They just don't know where they're going yet. It just depends on where and what severity the storm is. The warehouse is preparing for the worst. If it rides along the coast, we may see thousands of people da uh, with damaged homes. If that's the case, we will go to the area with the most need. Cindy Sandlin is the warehouse manager. She tells me every volunteer will make a huge difference during Dorian recovery efforts. If you're someone looking at volunteering your truck to the effort, they'll need to know how big it is. That way we know what your towing capacity is. So they won't overload a trailer. The warehouse tells me they anticipate a frenzy of activity when the damage reports start coming in. We will empty this place, ship all this materials to wherever the hurricanes hit, and then we'll start resupply. Now, if you want to bring some supplies here to the warehouse, this location is just off of US 31 here in Decatur. Now, the warehouse tells me that once those damage reports start coming in, they're going to finalize a list of truck drivers and the passengers to ride in those trucks to unload them once they get where they're going. And with Dorian expected to impact the US sometime tomorrow, you still have some time to volunteer. Reporting live in Decatur, Cody Fisher, Way 31 News.